What's going on everybody and thanks for tuning in to the Dizablo channel where I'll show you in-depth tips, tricks, gameplay and builds for the Crusader in Diablo Immortal. For today's video, we're going to take a look at the fastest farming build of any class with a few important tips to keep you ahead of the pack when farming Realm of Damnation. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright, let's begin with our skills. First we have Sacred Fire, Falling Sword, Conjuration of Light, Holy Banner, and Drawn Quarter. For the Legos we have the Arrow Keeper Helmet where Banner now moves with you, Justice Without Favor Chess Piece now grants a Ring of Holy Fire, Civ Kit's Advantage Shoulder Piece gives a 39% bonus to drawing quarter duration. Bladed Jambo Leg Piece grants the Fiery Steed Horse. The Bristle Weapon grants Sacred Fire. And for the shield, we have Peer of Sturbend, which will increase the duration of Holy Banner. Now for our set items, we have of course Vithus. At two items, you get 30% increased duration of beneficial effects for your whole party. At four items, you gain 30% attack speed, which increases for three seconds when using a buff. For our second set, we have the two piece Shall Bass set, which will now give us a 15% buff to our primary attacks. You don't have to use these sets for the build, but you definitely want to use the two-piece Vithus for the 30% longer duration. Also, some notable sets that go well with Vithus are Isitar and the Windloft Perfection set. This build will make you fast, but the number one game changer for staying ahead of the pack is Beneficial Effect. For example, Seder number 1 has the two-piece Vithu set, the Civ Kit's Advantage shoulder piece, and some beneficial effect versus Seder number 2 that has all the gear and sets but has no beneficial effect attributes. Seder number 1 will always lead the pack in the Realm of Damnation loop. You can get more beneficial effect duration on the chest, legs, belt, and feet. 6% is the maximum amount you can get on each of these gear at the moment. Another way to add more beneficial effect duration is from Reforged Stones, specifically the Jolt Stone family. 3% is the maximum amount you can gain from each of the 6 armor slots. Skill cooldowns and movement speed will also help you farm faster and these attributes can be found on the neck, rings and hand set items. 4% is the maximum amount you can get for both of these attributes on these 4 set items. On another note, you can get critical hit chance and damage attribute on the head, shoulders, weapon and shield. 4% is max on crit chance and 6% is max for crit damage. Here's some pointers for farming Planes of Torment in Realm of Damnation. Tip number 1. Use Holy Banner, Holy Fire and Fiery Steed all at once when at these starting points. It's the longest straightaways and are the toughest to chain kill streaks if you're not fast enough or the mobs just haven't respawned in time. Tip number two. When farming any location, always eliminate all mobs of monsters then move to the next mob. This will ensure the monsters respawn in time when you return to that location. Tip number three. Since Falling Sword works instant, it's perfect for connecting streaks at the last second. 
If you like this video or it's helped in any way, please hit that like and subscribe button or leave a comment on your thoughts. Thanks for watching this far and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. See you on the next one.